So welcome back to the channel. I'm Roger, the wandering forester, and I have with me. Where is she? Hi. Can you see me? Linda. <laughs> Hi. Mrs. Wandering Forester. We're back in the lakes of our annual Wainwright bagging trip, and we're in my favourite ever valley. Now, if you've been watching the channel, you know which one it is. But just in case you don't, I'll show you. We'll see these better later on, but can you see them poking over the top? And this way we have the band, crinkle crags, bow fell, and then where we're going today, Pika Blisco. There's hardly anyone in the valley, which is weird. But uh, anyway, we just sat through a rainstorm in the car, and now the sun's out, and we're on our way. We're in Oxendale, we come through Stoolane Farm and we're just about to hit the steps up to Brownie Gill, up through Brownie Gill, which is quite tough, especially for old legs like ours. We were talking to the farmer a few years ago, he was telling us that when the National Trust put this path in, they use stones at the river, beck stones as they're called. So apparently when they're wet they're really slippy. So uh, luckily today they're dry. We're about, what would you say, three quarters of the way up? These steps up towards Brownie Gill. I'm absolutely sweating like a pig. When the sun comes out, it's stupidly hot. There's not a breeze. On as compensation, we're looking at this. Crinkle crags going round to Bow Fell. Lovely waterfall over there. Coming round, this is the band right in front of us. And the Langdale Pikes. Pike a stick all off crag. Harrison stick all, etc. And there is the beautiful, beautiful Langdale Valley. And here we have Brony Gill. It's beautiful. Absolutely lovely. Not sad to see the back of that staircase at all. As you can see, I've gone full pirate now. Hat was just too hot. So hopefully this breathes a bit more. We'll see. I was getting sweat running down into my eyes. Ah. Finally, it feels like June, doesn't it? Right, we finally got to the top of Brownie Girl. It's taking us two hours. Ridiculous. However, so the next uh, next thing to do is get up there, called Pike, and the way to go is to go up here between get the call in between Cold Pike and I think it is it Great Knot I think, and then up the ridge, and then back again, mm -hmm. <laughs> and up there, and go up there, Pike of Blisker, or. Just sit here for the day and pretend we've done them. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the view going? It's got to be a path down there, we can come up. 121. Okay. Unfortunately, the, uh, the clouds have just rolled in as we got to the top. So that's the next objective over there in the cloud, Pika Blisco. 
Thought I'd let you do the walk too. <laughs> <laughs> so cold pipe from Red Tarn then. What you do is head towards the coal between Cold Pike and Great Knot on the path that goes to Crinkle Crags. And eventually you'll see a cairn on the left hand side. And there's a faint path there, which becomes a decent path and takes you to the top of Cold Pike. Now, because we're going to Pike of Blisco now, we're basically just reversing that, so back down to the cairn. Now we're on the main drag now, down to Red Tarn. And uh, we'll have a rest there, and then get up Pike of Blisco. So amazing views, we've got Bowfell, Crinkle Crags, Cold Pike over there. Great cars. Swirl How, Grey Friar, Weatherlamb, and then down outside the valley there's Windermere, Pennines way, way in the distance, Lingmore Fell down there, and then Langdale and the Langdale Pikes. Oh, by my word, it's windy. So we've got to find our way down now. We're heading down towards Blee Tarn and then we'll follow the road back down into Langdale. So you've got my hat on again. It was just too hot coming up Brainy Gill and too blowy everywhere else, but we're out of the wind here, so although I've trod on it a couple of times, I will wear it. Where are we going? I think I'm going to have to put this camera away. Don't fancy that at all with camera. <laughs> I think this is probably a better way up than a way down, to be honest. But just at the top of that is where the steps end. So it's definitely the right way, but oh my word, that's a struggle coming down. Yeah. Right, let's hope there's no more of that. Yeah. More steps, more steps, but this time down. Got to keep your eye on the steps. Should have counted them. It's probably 606 million or so. Do you think? It's one of those things. Is it's a shame to see these stone staircases on the hills. But if they weren't here, there'd be so much erosion. It just wouldn't be true. So, however much you like or dislike them, you know they're doing a good job. So, 20 minutes later, still going down the steps. Ah, oh dear. Are you in? I'm Can in. you see? Yeah, I'm in. Right. So, we're, we're only a few yards from the road now, so we'll wrap it up here. Uh, I know there's like a limited hey. audience for our... Shut up. <laughs> limited audience for our day hikes, but so, huge thank you if you have watched all the way through. If you're not subscribed or like, please do that. And we'll hope to see you in the next one. And we'll leave you, I think, with a view of... Where are you going? <laughs> I'm trying to find the Langdale Pikes. Can you see oh. the Langdale Pikes behind me? Because I'm not very good at this over the shoulder stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you again soon.